Hippo, 20 ounce tumbler, sublimation blanks. Gonna give you a little bit short review of these and what I think of them. Of course, we've been using them for quite a while. This goes on with my uh, continuous thing here of giving you uh, examples of these different brands of sublimation blanks so that you don't have to go out and experiment on your own and find something that turns out to be just junk. So these work really well and I have never had any problem with them and I have two different kinds here. I've got one with a glitter, a colored glitter, which is unusual, but it has its applications. And then I have just a plain white one. These come in a box, of course, and they come with the uh, straw and little brush to clean it. And these also have a rubber bottom that is probably inside. Yep, there it is. Make sure you take this out before you do your sublimation work. So this sticks on the bottom. So what I'm going to do is prep a couple of these and I'm going to get them on the heat press, take them off, let's see what they look like. I'm going to throw a little something extra in here. Uh, this is a, uh, a green, kind of a bluish green glitter tumbler here. So if you're doing a glitter tumbler, or any tumbler for that matter, that you're going to sublimate to and it's a color, you want to make sure there's a lot of white space, or I call it white space, in your sublimation print. Otherwise, it's uh, not going to turn out real well. So I've got one here that has a lot of white space in it. It's Christmas theme here. It's called Jingle Juice. So I'll get this here set up. Again, if you've never done this, you'll want to trim your print so that it's just take a little sliver of what would be the color off of it and have that end down and then bring your other one around it. And of course you want to make sure it's straight, which mine isn't. There we go. And whether or not you want to wrap the bottom will depend on what your print is. And in this case I'm not going to wrap the bottom because there's not really anything on the bottom there to uh, carry over. It's mostly white space. Make sure that your color gets up to the rim as well. I'll get this taped here. I'll put a link in the description on how to do this step by step from the very beginning because I do have a video on that. I'm not going to repeat that here. I'm trying to keep these little uh, sublimation blank reviews somewhat short. So get this one done. I'll prep the other one here. I'll get them on the heat press. So here we go with the unwrapping. Up this off the press. Now sometimes you'll get uh, blanks where the paper sticks real bad. I'm using the same paper on all these uh, little evaluations of tumblers to kind of keep things consistent. Sometimes I can get a run on these and they just go. Now if you should happen to get one where the paper sticks and leaves a film behind, uh, don't panic. All you need to do is put it under some running water and rub your hands on it and that will come right off. So there's my first one on this glitter tumbler, my jingle juice. And has this one cooled off enough yet for me to, yeah. Uh, do not hot peel these. If you hot peel you're very liable to uh, mess up your graphic and you'll end up with some smudging or ghosting. Now this one I taped around the bottom to pull my color around the bottom of it. These are of course Christmas themed because we're getting close to that season. So don't have any residue left behind at all. And this one here is the most wonderful time of the year. So now all that's left to do is to prep the bottom of this with a little bit of alcohol. And by alcohol I mean rubbing alcohol, not the good tequila. This has an adhesive back on it. Boy, if I had fingernails, this would be easy. Just get that centered on there. Yeah, I've got a little bit of residue on here. That'll wash off of water real easy. That's not a problem. Of course, we all know what jingle juice is. And we just have the caps, and of course, these do come with straws. 
So there we are, the Hippo sublimation blanks in either glitter or the regular white. Uh, I've used these before, we have no problems with them. Uh, it, I tend to shop for the best deal from the brands that I know I've had good experience with. And we'll be uh, trying some more here from just random ones that I'm just, just going to grab that I kind of never heard of before and we'll evaluate those here. We will evaluate those here in the future too. There'll be a link in the description on where you can get a hold of these if you'd like to get this brand. Uh, along with some of the other things I use, there'll be links down there. And there'll be a link for how to do this step by step from the beginning. I'm kind of glossing over all that right now for, for these little evaluation videos. So if you got anything out of this, appreciate getting a thumbs up. Always helps the channel. I'm Roger in the loft above the shop. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.